what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Linda Kyle and this is Linda Kyle truth TV if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to this channel because I would really really appreciate it anyway you guys my spirits are so down today okay um today's monday yesterday was sunday and a story broke on the internet which really was a bit frightening and really sad you know um you guys know about the aka and nelly tembe story the situation i'm pretty sure because today's Monday, that you guys have seen the video doing its rounds all over the internet, right? And initially, when Nelly Tembe passed away, right, and people were saying that she committed suicide, some people were saying that she was sacrificed, just a lot of things were being said. I decided that, because I have covered um, celebrity news before you know but it's not really something that i'm focused on because i don't think something that's trending now will trend five years to come so i don't really do or cover those kind of situations and when she first passed away i had decided that you know what, i'm not even gonna touch this situation because we don't have the full story yet and i knew that as time went on more things were going to come out because it didn't make sense how this young lady passed away you know what i mean so the dust the dust settled and here we are yesterday sunday and the story breaks all these videos are actually leaked right and so I decided that, you know what, let me give my two cents opinion on the situation because it's really, really, people need to be aware of this type of situation and what's really happening. I feel like most of the people that have covered the story, especially here on YouTube, have done it justice. But I also just wanted to give you guys my take on the situation. Okay, so Nelly Tembe passed away um, last month, right? And it was said that she committed suicide because she was depressed. But when um, we watched her, her funeral, and I watched it live on YouTube, her father had said that in the 21 years that Nelly was alive, he's never known his daughter to be suicidal, Right? And then there you go on Twitter and on the comments, people are like, it just goes to show how our parents don't know us. You need to speak up about depression, bloody blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wow, you're a total stranger. You're literally just a comment underneath this video or this live. And you're going to say that her father didn't know her? That's weird. That's suspicious. You know what I mean? And then the father went on to say, to speak about what the what drugs and alcohol are doing to the youth, especially when misused. And that's facts. Like, youngins do misuse alcohol. They do dibble devil in taking drugs and all of that stuff and you never think that something like this is going to happen you know what i mean who i mean it happens people jump out of buildings people are pushed but it's it's a very very deep way to go out you know what i mean you know there's gotta be so much more that is happening and that's why I waited to actually do this video. And I promise you this. 
more is going to be leaked, more is going to be said when it comes to the situation. You know, we are just scratching the surface. It's very scary. It's very haunting. This is something that, wow, it's big. It's a major, major deal, right? So her father spoke about the drugs and alcohol at her funeral. And then people were like, yeah, okay. Some people actually, some people still stuck to the narrative that she was depressed. People that don't know her saying that her father didn't know her. That's just, that's not cool. You know what I mean? And then there were people saying that, yeah, this is true that, um, they were on her and her fiance, AKA were on drugs. If you guys remember, I don't know if it was months or years ago when AKA was still with Bonang Matebe and there was a, I don't know, was it a video or an image leaked, right? And on the table where they were dancing and partying, it looked like there was some white residue lines type of thing. You know what I mean? Like the type of thing that you see in a movie, right? When people are taking drugs, people are on cocaine. It looked like that. And AK even um, commented and said that, oh, now people can Photoshop or it, it's, yeah, something about Photoshopping, implying that whoever had posted that or whoever saw this picture, edited it and put that, that residue on the table. Now, was, was he, was AKA and Bonang taking drugs at that point? I don't know. I'm not saying that at that point it is true because I wasn't there, but I'm just highlighting the fact that it was mentioned. You know what I mean? So him being in a story involving drugs is not foreign. Even Casper your vest during the beef, he had mentioned that he takes drugs, right? Okay. So let's come back to today. Oh, yesterday, um, the leaked videos. So now, okay, let's do this. Actually, let me run you guys a clip. Okay. I'm going to run you guys two clips. And I'm going to show you what's really going on. And then I'm going to come back and let you guys know what I think the situation is, how I feel about it, etc. So, let's roll that clip. Wow, that is so disturbing to see. That is so, it's sad to see her in that state. It's scary, right? And in that clip that we just watched, and I feel so bad for her father because now he has obviously seen this. He has read about it. You can only imagine what a parent goes through to see their child in that state. You heard what she said in that video. You guys are not doing anything. Nobody's doing anything. You guys don't know what he's been doing to me. Right? So this tells me that in their, this is how I see it, right? In their relationship, this kind of behavior has been going on. And it sounds as if AKA has put hands on her before. She is saying, you, nobody's doing anything. And there's other men in the room, right? Which are probably his friends. We can't say who else is in the room. But you can tell that AKA is there because one of the guys is saying, Kenan, Kenan, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then the other one is saying, Nelly, Paula, Paula, like, calm down. Nobody's doing 
Nobody's doing anything. You guys don't know what he's done, that, what, what he does to me or what he's done to me. Which implies that this has happened before. And on that very night, she's saying that nobody's doing anything. Which means he must have done something. And nobody said or did anything. Because, but bang, it's Keenan Forbes, a.k.a. the mega star. You know how you've heard about American celebrities who have this group of people around them but these people are yes men yes men and women they only say yes but they never tell a person the truth like stop doing this stop saying this type of thing so is that the situation when she's saying nobody's doing anything did he do something to her say something to her and nobody said or did anything because that reaction that she's giving they is telling me that She's trying to say, guys, like, hello, wake up. Like, nobody's doing anything. You guys are telling me to calm down the whole time because I'm acting like this, but I'm acting like this for a reason. It's painful. You know what I mean? Nobody's hearing me type of thing. That's my take on that. And the weird part about it, the weird part about it is that in that state that she is in, she's being recorded. How many of you have been drunk out of your mind, right? Put up your hand. I've been towed up. You've been drunk as well. You know what I mean? And you probably said or did some things that were out of character, right? But tell me this, guys. In that state, how would you feel being recorded? How would you feel if somebody is, is recording you while you are in that state? While you are in that emotional moment? What is that person going to be doing with this footage? Why are you recording someone who is drunk or is on something? Why? What is the point of that? Because... She's probably thinking, and that's why she carries on, she's wiling out even harder. She's probably thinking, how dare you? Now you're recording me. It's like I'm crazy. Nobody knows what's really going on. Your boys are defending you, obviously. I'm looking crazy, and here you are recording me. Wouldn't that make you paranoid if you were in, in her physical shoes at that point? You're wasted. You, you know, it's embarrassing. You know that if anybody else sees this footage, it's going to humiliate you. Obviously, you're going to pop off even more. Even more. I don't understand why they were recording her in that state. Instead of saying to her, Paula, Paula, calm down, lady, and saying, Keenan, back it up. Tell him to stop recording and then we can actually talk about it. An environment where there is alcohol and drugs is never a good environment. I did a video for you guys and I explained that with the consumption of alcohol does bring demon possession. When you, when you start to wild out and you're not yourself anymore or you black out, where do you go? The rational person, the one that I was with earlier on today that was normal before we started drinking. What happens to that person? You see, it's a very dangerous, it's a very dangerous game. You know what I mean? And he put out, aka, put out a statement saying that there were ups and downs in their relationship. Everybody, there's two sides to a video. There's two sides to a story. How convenient that he put that statement out the day before these videos were leaked. The day before these videos were leaked. That's weird. That's suspicious. 
I'm going to run you guys another clip, right? This clip is obviously the day after the first meltdown, right? This is the day after. Watch this clip and I'm going to be back and I'm going to tell you what I think is happening here. Anyway, let's roll that clip. Somebody here under the influence tried to jump off the balcony. My eardrums are ringing. I think I burst my eardrum. I have a witness that witnessed that I did not fight back. And there is no fighting back from my side. This is how it looks. So when we go to court, this is what I want people to see. Thank you. This, for me, is the worst. Seeing her while and out in the first video broke my heart. It made me so sad. It made me so sad. But this one, the day after, this is evil. This is evil. And let me tell you why I say that. So, whatever happened the previous night, and obviously he has a hand in whatever happened. She's not just going to pop off. She's drunk. She's high. She's not just going to lose her marbles. Something triggered her to get to that point. You know what I mean? The second clip, he is walking around the room, once again, recording the poor girl. Once again, he has his phone out recording her. And you can tell that she's still, she's unsettled, uneasy. Have you ever woke up after a night of heavy drinking? And you have this fear or this feeling that I did something or I said something that was bad, that was embarrassing, or I made somebody mad but I can't remember, and you, you're trying to touch base. Only to find out that, yeah, you did say some effed up things, or you did do some effed up things. Sometimes, in some cases, the people around you are like, no, you didn't say or do anything. But you wake up with that paranoia, like, I can't remember, like... Somebody please fill me in. Has anybody ever felt that anxiety? I have. I have. Understand what that must feel like. Okay? You can only imagine how humiliating it is. And at that point when you're intoxicated or anything, a person can spin a story capturing the blow, the, 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 the while and out part, but not capturing how we got to that point. You know what I mean? The fact that the previous night she was being recorded and now the next day she is being recorded again. She is miserable. She's upset. You know what I mean? It's been a long night. She's probably tired. She's out of her, like she's out of her head at this point. And there's nobody there to support her. But instead, she gets this camera in her face. A reminder that mm, 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 you were bad yesterday. Bad behavior. Little girl. Isn't that sad? Doesn't that feel wrong to you? That the man that claims he loves you so much... Instead of protecting you and comforting you while you are on the, on the floor, saying that I want my mother, I want my mother, her deceased mother is recording you. That's humiliating. And you, he's walking around the room saying that I, this is, um, I have evidence, I have proof, I have witnesses. Those same people the previous night that were there that did nothing. Nelly was saying, you guys are not doing anything. You guys don't know what he's been doing to me. So those are the same people that are going to be your witnesses when you go to court. Why do you even have to gather this information 
what is really happening and if you have to gather this information and you are saying that i'm recording this as evidence um, to say that i didn't put my hands on her Hosha, before you have put your hands on her and you got in trouble for that only thing is the public didn't know about it right and i feel like that incident didn't happen on the day that she actually died that one seems like it's the incident that happened a year ago in Durban, right? Look at how she was dressed the previous night and it matches the outfit that was posted a while back, right? Why is your fiance, the man that claims to love you so much, recording you at your lowest point? Why isn't he on that floor with her and saying, yes, babe, yesterday was a mess, but we can get through this. Why is he not there comforting her, making her feel better, even if, if she was in the wrong, which I doubt. Why isn't he comforting her, making her feel better, making her feel safe? Instead, he's recording her using this as evidence just in case they go to court how manipulative is that is that somebody that really loves you is it that's crazy that's crazy and let me tell you one thing guys uh, another another re reason why i feel like he was recording her on these i feel like in the past he has done something to her and she recorded him as well. It's a thing that they do, right? But don't forget, Nelly Temba was only 22 years old. She's young, very young compared to AKA. Which means that in that relationship, he's got a certain level of power over her. That's why I was saying to you, him saying, um, here, here she is, intoxicated under the influence. It's like naughty, naughty bad girl. See what you did? Now I have proof type of thing. That's not love. That's not somebody caring about you. There's somebody that's supposed to be there protecting you. That's, I'm going to get you before you get me. She was so young. So if their, their, their relationship is that tumultuous, he has a hand in it because he's got a certain level of power. And yes, it's been said that Nelly Tembe was the type of woman that could stand up for herself, that was very strong. But you know what, now? And a many women will agree. When you have that age difference and the guy is older, you know what I mean? He's going to make you feel like, by the way, you're younger, I know better, type of thing. And then he'll show you love here and there, but he's in control. He's in control of the situation all the time. No matter how strong you are as a woman. That's why it's important for young girls, don't go for these older, older guys because you want something. And not to say that she wanted something because from what I've seen, her family was well off type of thing. She really was into this guy. And you know how you are at 20, 21, 22, 23. When you're in love, it's like you're really in love, you know? You don't know any better. You don't know any better. But I don't think that somebody that loves you and cares for you and supposed to be your man, your, your, your husband-to-be is going to do that and record you because he knows he has, to he has to protect his image. Yes, I get it. But aren't you going to protect the image of the woman that you love as well? Because that's your woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with. She's sitting there distraught saying that she wants her deceased mother and you're going around the room recording it for evidence why in this situation aka can never look good in like he can't he can't and the fact that he put out another statement before to do damage control do you guys think he was doing damage control because if he was recording the other incident, covering himself then, I mean, hello, he's covering himself once again, getting ready for the storm. And here it is. And here it is. 
And then there was some other pictures. I'm going to show you these pictures. Look at these pictures. In these pictures, to me, it looks like Nelly is inside the room. And it said that she was trying to get away from him in one of their blowouts. Nelly is inside the room. He breaks the door down from the other side. Right? And as soon as he has an opening, he puts his hand in to try to open the door. Eventually, going through that hole and charging at her. You can see those pictures frame by frame. Doesn't look like he was steadily strolling, coming to her. Ha, ah, baby girl, let's talk about this. It looks like he was coming. Either to say, stop recording me, or to do whatever it is that he does. But why, if she's locking herself in the bedroom, why do you have to go break the door to get to her? Do you know how scary that must be? And if he was on drugs, you can only imagine how unpredictable a person who's on drugs is. Because a person who's on alcohol and is really wild and out is unpredictable too. How many people have killed people under the influence of alcohol and said, I don't remember. I don't remember and another point I want to make right I feel like she should have gotten out but I feel like they always found a way to fix it yeah aka has dated some really powerful woman DJ Zintle Bonang Matebe I don't think he was able to pull these type of things with those women much older and i would say very strong but he could do whatever else he wanted and he was in control when he was with this young lady do you know what i mean and he gets into relationships soon after one is ended so he doesn't really have time to heal as well Bring alcohol and drugs into the mix. I mean, that's a recipe for disaster. I don't know. I mean, it's been insinuated that they were on drugs and alcohol. But the fact that he said in the other video that she's under the influence is saying that, okay, guys, this is the situation. This is what it is. I don't know if she got on drugs because of him or before they got together. But at the end of the day, he should have put an end to that. Because if she was still alive and they got married and stuff, that was going to be the mother of his kids. One day. Is that what you want for the mother of your kids? You want to humiliate her? You want her so distraught to the point where she looks like she's losing her mind? But in the situation, you making yourself look good, I'm so innocent type of thing? That's not fair. That is not fair. Okay. Another thing is that a year ago, when it was said that she tried to jump in Durban, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. If you have had an incident like that, as a man, an older man, who loves this woman and you've had a scary situation like that happen and she almost jumped the next time you're out of town and in a hotel wouldn't you make sure you get a room on a lower level just in case it happens again because here we are they got a room at the 10th floor and look what happened. He's an older man who loves this woman. Wouldn't How can I think about that? And it never crossed his mind. Just in case, because this incident has happened before. Just in case, let me get something on a lower level. So if it does happen, then, you know, nobody gets hurt. When this whole situation... Or 
when the passing of Nelly Temple broke. Not her. This guy. Came out and said, he flew, he immediately flew down to Cape Town to be with his boy. To hold his hand to comfort him. And the story that he got was that she took something and had a bad trip. Now when I look at that footage, yes, it looks like she's having a really bad trip. Like something is really, really bad if the situation cannot be resolved. You know, by just talking it through. But that sounded really shady to me. She had a bad trip. Okay. She took something that was bad and it messed her up. It's like saying, blame it all on the drugs. Don't look at AKA. She had a bad trip. This tumultuous relationship, these type of things have obviously happened before. As an older man who wants to marry this woman and spend the rest of your life with this woman. I'm sorry, I was just looking at something there. With this woman. Why are you going to allow possibly even participate with her in the consumption of the drugs? And the alcohol. Why do you allow that type of thing to happen? It's like getting a, a room at the lower ground, a ground level. But why still allow it to happen? So maybe he doesn't have, AKA doesn't have a physical hand in. Maybe he didn't push her. But I wouldn't be surprised if when she was on the edge, she was like, okay, fine, you want to jump, then jump. And then she actually did it. I told you another video, words are spells, words are very dangerous. So if he didn't even, if he didn't push her physically, whatever was happening before the incident contributed. It contributed. You heard him on the other video where he's gathering his evidence. He doesn't sound like somebody, he sounds like, yeah, I'm going to get you before you get me. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was like, you try to do this a year ago, man. Just get off or just jump there. God, she really's gone. She's really gonna go over. Didn't see that coming, eh? Because life is that unpredictable. You don't know what's gonna happen in a split second. But it happens. And now we're here. Look at the videos of them during the day. That day. They were drinking from the morning. There's videos of them the, throughout the whole day until the night where she was dancing in the club while he was performing. Imagine how much liquor and if they were doing drugs, how, how, how much of the stuff was in their system. Something bad is bound to happen in that type of situation. And it did. And the sad thing about it is that a young, beautiful woman who had her whole life ahead of her is gone is gone anyway you guys this has just been a really sad 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 video kind of makes me really angry you know this thing of pulling out your phone when somebody is in a really bad state it's not good guys because look at that girl who died who was bullied. Was it Lufuno, I think. She was recorded. And that video circulated. And then she killed herself. Do you understand how it feels to put out your phone and record someone when they are not at their best? It's embarrassing. It's humiliating. And people are going to take those videos and spin them however they want. So the act of just taking out your phone and recording someone in a bad state is bad. You can literally be pushing them over the edge for your evidence. If you can't sort out a situation by talking it through or getting someone to help you mediate the situation in that relationship, then just let it go. 
this thing of constantly having evidence for court. It's not worth it. And if you love someone, you're not gonna watch them destroy themselves, drinking too much, taking drugs. You're not, you're not. Obviously, she couldn't handle whatever it is that she was taking. Even the friend not to say she had a bad trip. But clearly, it's not the first time. It's not the first time. It's really sad. And I feel so bad for her father that is gonna that has now obviously seen these videos, these pictures. That's tough. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. I just had to cover that. Guys, I promise you, in the upcoming days, there's going to be more coming out. There's going to be more videos, texts. There's going to be a lot that people are going to be saying, you know. And obviously, this case is still under investigation. But, yeah, we are, we are listening. We are watching. We want to see how it's going to unfold. But pro I promise you, this is not the end. It's not. Ladies, if you feel like you're in, you're in a relationship or situation that is not good, you start to see some funny signs. What we witnessed in today's video is not normal. Not by a long shot. Get out. It's not worth it. It's not. And even gents, if you're in that situation, because this goes both ways, get out. Get out. AKA said that after this incident, he's getting counseling. I think he should have gotten counseling before. As well. Because look what happened. Anyway, you guys, that brings me to the end of today's video. And if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel because I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.